Hey folks, it's Paul from Fujimo Fitness. So the other day I was talking to someone about weight loss and how they want to get started and they were going on about a Peloton bike. I think it's Peloton? Peloton bike. Is it Peloton or Peloton? They were going on about a Peloton bike that they wanted to purchase but couldn't afford at this moment and they're kind of in the middle of waiting to get started while they were trying to save up money. To me that did not make sense because obviously people get fit without bikes and all equipment. But beyond that, it had me thinking about how these bikes actually work. So Peloton bikes, like most stationary bikes, are, you know, in place, set one spot, you take it, buy it for your house, and you ride it. Now, they do have a lot of things that other bikes don't have, such as live streams that you can use. Now, that does come at a price, but it allows you to have a lot of variety in what you're riding and someone to actually help you do it. It's kind of like an online coach for bike training. But is it worth it? That is up to you. Now, if you're one of those that has clothes hanger exercise equipment, I would say stay away from it. You don't need to spend that much money. And while I'm at that, let's go to the price. These things cost a little over $2,000. So they're not cheap equipment. I looked and saw some other bikes that were around $2,000. 1500 so I guess that's kind of the market rate for those types of quality equipment and it really comes down to are you able to give yourself enough internal motivation to keep going with something that necessarily no one is telling you to do it it does give you a community but you still have to get on the bike yourself now what if you don't want to pay for a bike that's two thousand dollars plus about 20 bucks for the live stream what can you do? First off, you do not have to buy that expensive of a bike. You can buy a cheaper stationary bike and download an app that will help. Peloton has one. There's, all the, there's also about seven other ones I Googled that are about $10 that will allow you to still follow programs. So you, it is out there and you can do it at a fairly cheap monthly rate. Now, if you wanna go a cheaper route and have a street bike, you can just buy a bike stand and make it a stationary bike. I did this myself. I took one of our old cheap bikes that none of us were using, hooked it up to one of those. Those cost about 60 to 70 bucks. You can find them in bike shops. And since I didn't use the bike, I didn't even switch the tires. You're supposed to like switch the tires, but if it's something you're not gonna use, I didn't even bother to switch the tires. And just set it up in a back room. Same thing, I got a bike that I can use. I've, it lasted a lot longer than a lot of the stationary bikes that I bought for, you know, 800 bucks or whatever. I've been able to use this one much longer. And I just watch like YouTube videos while I do it. If I don't need a set program, which I don't, this is a good way to go. Just watch your favorite TV show. That's what you, all you have to do. But if you do need something to follow, you can go on YouTube and just watch bike exercise workouts and you'll be fine. Obviously there's not as many features, but it still allows you to get something done. Don't wait till you have $2,000 to get started. There's ways to do this. If, even if you can't use a bike right now, I can only walk. Start something. Don't just wait till you have cash. Because if you're just waiting for this next step and this next process, you're probably never going to get started. So that is it. No excuses. Get a Peloton or not, you got to find something to do. All right. Until next time, peace.